Hello students. Today we will cover a topic 4 by 4 array multiplier. This particular topic is under the module number 2. This is very uh, important questions to be asked in your main examination. It has been asked in the last semester that to design a 4 by 4 array multiplier. So for example, let's say uh, if a multiplier is of an order n by n, basically multiplier is nothing but a data path component. It multiplies 2 n bit input binary numbers, for example a and b. Suppose uh, let n by n multiply to be 4 by 4 so means a and b both both are of 4 bits each a is called as multiplicand and b is called as multiplier now as we know very well how to multiply these two binary numbers these are the methods you have to multiply the whole multiplicand with bit by bit first one multiply this whole multiplicand with one you will get this one Likewise, multiply uh, the whole with this one, then like this for this, you will get all these many results. This is called as partial product 1, this is partial product 2, partial product 3, partial product 4. And then sum all these many partial products, you will get the results. This is called as final result, which is nothing but the sum of all partial products. Now we have made some observations in doing this multiplication see each partial product is easily obtained by ending the present multiplier bit with the multiplicand each partial product for example let's talk about this partial product number one so this partial product is obtained by ending ending means logical multiplication so this multiplicand is multiplied with one logically so this is called as and similarly after generating all the partial products we need to sum those partial products together we can use a three adders of different bit width for computing the sum for example to have this final result we have to add this to this this whole will give you one result and that will add it with this and then with this so first we will add this to with one adder then this result will be added with this the second result and that result will be added with this to get the third result so in total three adders will be required to get this complete multiplication next now we will design now we will design this one 